Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. Hopefully everybody's just happy uh, for all our friends uh, in the central Florida area. Um, you know, uh, our prayers, uh, our prayers and hopes that everything um, is going to be okay. Apparently there's just an incredible storm coming your way. Hopefully you guys are safe, made some proper uh, precautions. And again, I, I think all of us throughout the country and the world uh, will say, uh, obviously, a prayer for you guys. So hopefully uh, everything uh, works out uh, and everybody is in one piece. So hopefully um, you guys are okay. Um, speaking of okay, the market continues to be more than okay. Uh, another 1.5% move today on the NASDAQ 100. Uh, even with the pulls, even with uh, the fear of war, even you know with uh, data talk, inflationary talk, and cut rates, and this and that and the third, we are still doing very, very well. And now we are marching uh, into the election next month, and obviously the fourth quarter of 2024. And if everything goes well, uh, if, as long as we don't, you know, lose the 50-day moving average, which we're, we're as of right now, very, very comfortably above, uh, we should get right. We should get that whole uh, holiday rally. You got the Thanksgiving rally spilling over to the Christmas rally, spilling over to the January effect. So hopefully, uh, the bulls will end uh, on a high note. Um, again, I'm going to kind of cut this a little bit short today. Nothing. Again, you don't need to spend 20 minutes to saying how good the market is. I think we see that. Uh, every single day. Let's just talk about some individual names uh, and where I think uh, they will uh, start to uh, position themselves uh, into uh, the next day uh, or the next following day. So let's start off with Tesla. So Tesla uh, in the last three days uh, has been rejected uh, now three days uh, off the five-day moving average, putting in three consecutive days of lower highs. Okay. That is what's happening. And now it's stuck in this little bit of a formation here above the 20 day moving average, but below the five. That is a very, very important uh, side note here. You have the robo uh, taxi event coming out uh, October the 10th. That's the day after uh, tomorrow. I don't believe that we're going to get a re resolution out of this channel. Okay. Uh, until that event, again, gun to my head, um, you know, they do sell events, okay? But again, this is where we're prepared on both sides of the market. So it's basically, uh, you know, just kind of a, a a holding pattern, right? A holding pattern for now. Uh, for the bull case, we need to get back above the 10-day moving average, where as you can see here, uh, this is the supply, the 5 and 10-day cross. And for the bears, they need to lose uh, the 20-day moving average that we've been kind of seeing the market defend uh, over the last two sessions. So would I be stunned that we get uh, a move one way or another tomorrow ahead of uh, ahead of the robo event? No, I wouldn't. But uh, the point is we are going to be stuck in this little holding pattern uh, until that happens. But I, I will tell you, I am definitely prepared on both sides of the market. Uh, this break is going to be pretty aggressive, whether it's to the upside, to the downside, we don't know. Uh, but we do know a break is uh, coming. Okay, so that's that on Tesla. Um Amazon, right? Amazon got a downgrade a couple of days ago. I think it was yesterday. Uh, had a nasty move down, got upgraded today, put an inside day. That's not a great thing, right? It's not a great thing uh, to have more selling expansion than uh, the upgrade, but it is what it is. Uh, as of right now, it put an inside day just like Tesla. It needs to reclaim back the five day moving average, right? To kind of break the selling pressure. And on the bull, on the bear side, it's going to need to lose uh, yesterday's channel, which is the 100-day EMA. So it's just like Tesla, it's in a little bit of a holding pattern. Uh, Google, right? Google, uh, again, one of the very few names uh, that haven't made a majestic run uh, at all. The good news is, from on the bull case, is it's building a very, very nice long base here above the 50-day moving average. 
uh, that it reclaimed on September the 26th. The problem is it's not uh, it's not expanding its move. It's not providing more uh, upside after this move. As you can see here, again, another inside day that was put in from yesterday's pre-aggressive selling. And if it loses the 20-day moving average, it's going to go back to the 50-day moving average where the whole move uh, started. So it's very, very important that the bulls hold the 50-day moving average and uh, the bulls also need to reclaim back the five. It's kind of a, um, that's kind of, uh, a roaming theme, as you can see in, in, a, in a bunch of names. So that's very, very important as well. Having the flip side, right? Having the flip side, NVIDIA continues to go out of its mind, uh, out of its mind uh, every single day. We're getting big, big moves. Yesterday, we were seeing the 132, excuse me, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134 calls. Uh, today, we saw 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 140 calls, uh, biggest move. Uh, coming out of this whole formation here. Uh, and now it has realistic, right? Realistic, the next measure potential on NVIDIA is going to be uh, the June highs, which is nearly 141. Again, that's where they're starting to bet uh, the institutional money flow. Again, is it going to go in a one straight line? No, it's not. But again, as long as it keeps on putting in higher highs and higher lows, and you can see here uh, how it's kind of putting the stairways to heaven, it continues to need to be bought on any type of dips into rising 60 and especially rising uh, daily support. SMCI, talk about a 24-hour move that was special. If you guys remember yesterday, had a massive move, absolutely massive move uh, coming out of that 44 and a quarter pivot. Uh, we talked about a potential of going to 50, 51. Uh, this morning, it gapped right to 50, 51. I think it was 51 and a half. Uh, traded right to the 50-day moving average. This wasn't a surprise. We talked about this. That was the measure potential, the 50-day moving average. It traded right to that 50-51 level and had a, a, an aggressive reversal. But again, if you know where your supply zones are, you'd be a seller there. Again, we discussed this yesterday on the video. We obviously discussed this pre-market for all you guys who came, who came in long, great sales off that 50-51 and massive, massive reversal. Now, SMCI needs to get back above the 50-day moving average uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks, but a phenomenal move, absolutely phenomenal move. And here, where you start getting uh, pretty aggressive semiconductor setups uh, for tomorrow. Look at ARM, guys. Look at ARM. This is a nice channel at ARM. Look how many times it's been rejected on the on the middle part of this range here. One, two, three. Today's day four. If it could get back above the the five day moving average, which was the highest level of supply. On September the 30th, this thing could wake up, start going, start pushing back into the 150 level. This is definitely one to watch uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, look at Avago. Okay. Avago today had a beautiful move. We talked about Avago the last couple of days. It finally got back above the September 26 highs. And the only reason why it stopped today, it stopped right on the daily Bollinger Band. Folks, look how close this is to challenging the June highs, right? That is uh, the macro big channel uh, for the next couple of days. We saw some 180s coming in. We saw some uh, some 188s with some size this morning uh, for the uh, November 15 expiration. But there was a one big one that came in uh, into towards the close. A buyer came in for the November 22nd expiration for $900,000. That's a very, very big bet. Uh, watch this thing tomorrow. If it could get back above uh, the Bollinger Band here, the daily Bollinger Band, we could see a move into uh, the June high. So it's very, very uh, important to, to kind of watch that. Uh, let me give you guys some more names uh, to watch for tomorrow. Uh, look at Oracle, right? Oracle had a great earnings move, came back in, consolidated for about a month, uh, this is now the highest close in the whole formation, just like Avago. It got stuck on the daily Bollinger Band. If this Bollinger Band gets uh, reclaimed tomorrow, this thing can move as well. So keep an eye on that as well. And let me give you two a little bit of smaller price names. Uh, Robinhood is looking really good, right? Look at the exp expansion value, right? Look at the ex expansion bar uh, that it put in today. Very, very big expansion band. Uh, it took out this whole formation going back to the July 17 highs. Watch this thing. If this thing starts confirming today's highs tomorrow, this thing could really, really wake up 
And the last one I will share with you good folks is uh, UPST. Again, just like Robinhood, just like Avago, it stopped right on the daily Bollinger Band. If it could get back above the daily Bollinger Band, this thing has a shot to go back to its recent August highs of 45, almost 46. We did see some short-term, uh, I believe it was either October Either October or November, I think it was November's November 50 calls uh, coming into play. Again, leave the stocks alone that are up two, three, four, five, seven days above their channels. Stick to the ones that are coming out of tight channels. And that's exactly the names uh, we talked about and kind of covered uh, this afternoon. Guys, have a great night, everybody. I got to run. I uh, hope everybody is doing well. And with God's help, I will see you all on the video uh, tomorrow. Take care.